team are headed down to Brick Lane for Prep City. As always, you know I love to document my journey down to Shoreditch. And I thought, given it's Crepe City, why don't we show off our kicks on the way there too? There, no queues, straight in, no problems, nothing like sneaker con and their two hour waits. Uh, first impressions were it weren't as hustle and bustle as I thought it was. It weren't like sneaker con jammed, nice chill vibe to begin with. I ain't buying it, I ain't buying it. I'm just so skeptical of these walls, man. So uh, skeptical. I've never seen anyone win, and they're money spinners, literally. I'm starting to kind of feel oversaturated in them, man. I don't think they carry that sauce like factor they once did. Write in the comments and let me know what you think. I can appreciate rare trainers, but then the Yeezy has just become its own type of beast. And it's not even a good beast in that sense. It's just, it's more of a status symbol. And it's frustrating that you know, these sneakers are being resold for so much. It, like, it, it kind of pisses me off slightly, I can't even lie. Write in the comments and let me know what you think. Are Yeezy still heat or have they become overhyped and lame? Now the Nike Air Mags. Hard sneaker? Yes. 10 grand hard? No. You would never see me spending that on one pair of trainers, ever. Now last season, I made the big mistake of not picking up either of these colorways and I'm paying for it dearly. The tonal green and tonal beige just pops in this Air Force One silhouette. Love them, but I'm not paying premium for them. Now what I thought was sick was that Jason Mark was giving out free cleaning services and wipes for sneakers which, has, which I thought was an amazing little touch, you know, doing it for the culture the right way. Aside from the laces, what I thought was a dope accessory was the MF Doom rings. They came in the gold and silver colorway. Okay, 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 I get it. Vintage sneakers, that's a part of the culture. But the way these bapes were looking so bummy, I don't think I could ever bring myself to pay over 50 pound for any of these sneakers, regardless of how rare they are. It's just, it's a bit of a piss take when you think about it. Like, look, look at them. Now, some of you will say these are an all black Air Force with a white tick. 
Some of you will say every creative dies alone. I say these are Fuego. The tumbled leather, the white tick, the embroidered everybody dies alone, or every creative dies alone, sorry. The mids with the strap, oh man. I, I like this, this Nike V-Loan creation, I could waffle on about this for days. Simple, quality, premium Air Force, and I really do feel Air Force are kind of making a comeback. You'll see me taking quite a few L's in these big releases. I ain't got no links, I ain't got no backdoor, handlers, none of it. These Nike and the basement collaboration took me off guard. I haven't actually seen a clear picture up until this date, but then seeing them in person and in front of me as I did, these again were just flames. They were hard, very sturdily built sneaker. The materials used, there was like a mix, I believe about 12 different types of materials on there and the gum sold in the black. Oh man, bro, crazy. What's your thoughts on the Ultra Boost these days? I'm noticing a lot of sizes just sitting on shelves and they're not really selling out as they used to, like last year. Has the hype in the Ultra, Ultra Boost actually died? Write in the comments and let me know what you think. Don't get me wrong. I love a pair of Ultra Boots, I'm not a hater at all. I'm just glad they're sitting. Gives me a chance to be able to buy them now. You know what, I've never really been into the, the, the whole swap out of laces, but this confectionery stand that was at Crip City, they were called the Lace Supply Company and they had a dope lineup of laces. We had laces for days, all colorways, tonal, bright, vault, shocking, whatever. It's just a dope array. I thought I'd create a segment at the end of this called my top 5 hashtag sneaks on feet. I went around that day taking pictures of what I thought were, were hot trainers and I want to list to you guys my top 5 sneaks that I saw on people's feet, they owned them and what I thought was heat of the, on the day. Coming in at number 5. We've got the Air Max One Black History Month. The Air Max One silhouette is one of the best in the game. That black and white colorway with the white etched designs on the black just popped. That icy sole, the gold metal on the laces, on the tongue. Again, we've got the black with the white etchings design and the BHM in pipe lettering. Fuego. For me, this sneaker stood out from the bunch considering it's just plain colors. It's worked, it, it, it's simple, it was neat, and just a nice silhouette of a trainer and overall colorway. Coming in at number four, we've got the Air Max 97 Country Camos. What makes this sneaker stand out instantly is its camo print. That forest shade of green is lit. The overall colorway and contrast of this sneaker is just a hit. Again, it's another classic silhouette, dipped in sauce and taken to another level with this crazy colorway. Coming in at number three, we've got the Nike Air Force One and V-Loan Collabs. I know I fanboyed earlier in this video about them, but it was for a good reason. The quality of these Air Force Ones are mad. I was skeptical about it being a mid, but then seeing them in person, man, oh man. I mean, the level around the sneaker to begin with, it was just a different level of premium. Every living creative dies alone is embroidered around the straps on the sneaker. And again, we've got a simple premium grade, standout but low profile V-Loan sneaker. It was a hit. I didn't think V-Loan would be able to top the black and orange colorway, but this is just simple premium and it pops on another level. Coming in at number two, real people do real things. And man, they were 100% on it with this one. 
I'm a little late on the basement movement and doing my due diligence and realising the level of this project it made me a proud South Londoner to know that this sneak was crafted from the ideas of young creatives. Canvas, corduroy, denim, leather, four different materials infused into the dunk silhouette, gum sole and different contrasting colours of black, very dope sneaker. I'm going to put it out there and say this could be a very strong contender for sneak of the year. I'm just saying. Coming in at number one, we have the Nike Tom Sachs Mars Yard 2.0's collaboration. I can't even lie, to begin with, I wanted these sneakers all for the wrong reasons, and that was to resell. Yeah, I copped out online, so I was like, man, no biggie, didn't get them, so what? Coming to Crep City and seeing them on feet brought on feelings of failure. Man, oh man. These could be another contender for sneak of the year. The base material is apparently taken from Special Forces boots. The upper is a polyester wrap, knit, tricot mesh. And the red night tick is stitched with an Xbox stitch for a stronger, durable feel. And I believe the sole has a Special Forces boot tread to kind of give you that rugged feel. Overall, this sneaker stood out the most for me and its level of pepper was just out of here. Definitely number one, definitely my sneak of the day and I loved it. On feet, it, it, like, it blew me away. I had, to, I had to change my mind on it, I had no choice. Hashtag Trashworthy. Now, in this segment, I'm gonna talk on the pair of sneakers, sneaker or sneakers I weren't really feeling. Um, and when it boils down to it, I, I'm not a fan of the Yeezys anymore. I'm kind of over it. Um, continual fell cops can't buy them at retail, don't want to buy them for resale prices. Um, I just think they're overhyped. Going to Crep City and SneakerCon before that, seeing everyone wearing Yeezys, it's, it's kind of lost its special factor for me. And they're just starting to become trash. You know, I'm just, I'm just falling out of love with them. When they first came out, I was all over them. But now I'm just like, nah. Um, from the 350 V2s, the only colorway I really like is the Belugas. But then again, overall, I'm, I'm saying it's trash worthy because everyone's hyping over it. There's limited stocks, resale prices are high, and for me, I'm, I'm gonna have to trash it. Trash worthy. Thanks for watching the video. Me and my team will be bringing more content towards you very soon. Please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know if you think my Yeezy comments or rant was unjust. Comment below. See you guys next week. Peace.